Semi-final number two of LPL 2020, the Dambula Viking and the Jaffna Stallions. Let's build our fantasy team on my 11 circle fantasy pick on ESPN Greek Info. I'm Rono Kapoor and Russell Arnold is all set to join me. Right, let's go to our pro tip for this one. And we're saying that all-rounders have been the primary strength for both these sides through the tournament. So, pack your side with all-rounders and big match players. Does the all-rounder like that, Russell Arnold? Tell me. Yes, it's got to be big match players. Yeah, you have been picking consistent players. But when it comes to knockout stages and games that matter, you also have to consider the pedigree of the player and what he has shown over the past. So, I do tend to agree with... Um, who you're going with, all-rounders, and uh, I would also look at the batsmen at the top of the order because they will get uh, more opportunity and um, they are the ones who would set the tone for teams. So, I wouldn't look uh, beyond, uh, far beyond that equation. Yep, fair point. Top order batsmen always get you lots of points. Let's go to our team before that on the player availability point. Dhananjay De Silva seems to be the only doubtful player ahead of this one. Of course, check in right after the toss to have a look at uh, the final teams and if there are any last-minute injuries or players that can't uh, be available. Let's go to our team now and if you've been playing, you already know that on the My11 Circle Fantasy app, there are 100 credits for every user to make their fantasy team. Four categories of players to choose from, batsmen, bowlers, wicketkeepers and all-rounders. You can pick a maximum of seven players from one team in any given contest. Every player's individual credit value is listed on the app and we'll give you four substitute options towards the end of this video as well. Let's go to our team, Wanindu Hasaranga, yet again our captain choice. He's been of extremely high value through the course of this uh, LPL and he continues to have uh, our endorsement as captain. He's been the most prolific bowler in the tournament. 13 wickets, excellent economy rate of five and a half, very good average too. And he has not gone wicketless yet, which makes him a very safe choice, you'd think, for uh, your captain. And no one's also scored more runs than him in the death overs. 93 runs and 43 balls. So, there are points to be had of Hasaranga with bat and ball. Vice-captain choice, Avishka Fernando. Let's go to some of those top-order batsmen that Russell talks about. Uh, he's uh, He's been one of the most impressive young batsmen in Sri Lanka for a while now and uh, also has a few 80-plus scores and three single-digit scores, which makes him a bit of a top, uh, you know, big hit or no hit kind of player. But we are backing him for vice-captain. He's got 209 runs in six innings, averaging over 41 and a strike rate of nearly 135. So, Wanindu Asaranga and Avishka Fernando, our captain and vice-captain. In, in our topics, we've got the Sunshanaka. No surprises there. He's been so good. The uh, Dambula Vikings skipper. He's been excellent through the middle overs. Big strike rate, big hits as well. That gives you extra points. And 184 runs in 122 balls at an average of 92 in those middle overs. Just tells you why you want him. Angelo Pereira is there as well. The 30-year-old uh, Sri Lankan player. Not a first-choice player for the Vikings. But once he's got his chance, he has uh, cemented his place in that side. 222 runs as it turns out. Uh, in six innings, averaging over 55 now. This Sara Pereira as well in our topics. We're going to leave this Sara out in a big game. We know his quality in the shortest format especially. He's already managed a 44-ball 97, a 28-ball 68. And he also has five wickets to his name. So, points with bat and ball in a big match play of this Sara Pereira. Rounding off our topics, Wanindu Hasaranga as captain, Avishka Fernando as vice-captain, Dasun Shanaka, Angelo Pereira, Tisara Pereira. Russell, do you like the look of those topics? Yeah, yeah, they are fair calls. I'll throw a few more names in there. Niroshan Dikwela for one, Shoib Malik, and uh, I, I believe Dananjay De Silva will be fit. So these are players that I will look for in, in that top range. And vice captain, uh, Avishka Fernando, Wanindo Hasaranga, I have no doubt about it. He will be captain in that lot. Um, you can pick. You know how I go with it. I will stick with Avishka Fernando, even though those other names uh, will be considered. Yep. All right. Fair enough. Now, there's some of those players that do find place in our 11, like Russ points out. Shoaib Malik is in our differential picks. He's the only Asian cricketer to score over 10,000 T20 runs. He knows how to approach big games. He's got a wealth of experience behind him as the former Pakistan captain. And uh, he's had a pretty good LPL 2022 strike rate of nearly 160 and 178 runs in uh, six innings at an average of just uh, under 45. So, form at the right time for uh, Shoaib Malik in our differential picks. Anwar Ali is there as well. The all-rounder has uh, been the leading wicket-taker for the Vikings with eight wickets in six games. He bowls majorly in the power play and the death over, so higher chances of getting wickets too. And we're uh, keeping him in our differential picks for this big semi-final. Shoaib Malik and Anwar Ali in our differential picks. Our full team does see Niroshan Dikwela, who Russell did back as a keeper option. Avishka Fernando is our... Uh, 
वाइस कैप्टन ऑप्शन एंजेलो परेरा शोएब मलिक उपुल तरंगा से वनिंदु असरंगा आर कैप्टन चॉइस दस सुनशान का तिसरा परेरा एंड समित पटेल एंड अनवर अली उस्मान शिनवारी एज अ फ्यू बॉलिंग ऑप्शंस टू सब्स्टिट्यूट्स बेंच रमेश मेंडिस लाहिरु कुमार धनंजय डि सिल्वा एंड विजयकांत वियासकान आर अल्टरनेट सिनेरियो इज इफ धनंजय इज फिट व्हिच रसल बिलीव्स It certainly will be. He could replace Opal Taranga. Do you like that swap more, Russ? Any other suggestions you'd like to give our viewers? Uh, I will go with uh, Dananjay De Silva in that instance because he will bowl as well. Um, so that is a that is a fair swap. Now uh, out of the box, I like Ramesh Mendis. So I might be tempted to um, swap Samit Patel with Ramesh Mendis because the way he's been going, uh, he he will be very useful. And uh, even with the bat, he's been good. Samit Patel towards the latter stage has uh, waned off a bit. Um, but something tells me go with Ramesh Mendes. All right, fair enough. That got to Russell Arnold has got lots of points, guys, this week, this season. So go for it as well, Russell. Thank you very much. This was wrapping up our uh, fantasy picks on my Eleven Circle Fantasy Pick on ESPN Cricket for the second semi-final. We'll be back, of course, before the final as well.